Hey guys, this is Colin, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the size property in CSS Hero. So here I am in a screen already set up for you. I'm going to click on my targeting tool, jump straight in. We are going to target this button here. It's a promo button. I'm going to click on it, and as you can see, promo button comes up here. I'm going to click on that one more time, and that will open up all my CSS properties. So what I want to do is scroll down here to size, click on that, and now it opens up this next dialog with obviously uh, width and height and minimum width and minimum height, etc. As you can see, the width right now is set to 106 pixels, and the height is set for 34 pixels. Now, we might want to override this. We might want to make it a wider button, and I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to bring this right over here. I want to make it really wide. Maybe let's make it wide, as wide as we can kind of go. There we go. I want to make it a really wide button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Save. Now, that's one thing we can do. It's so easy. But the problem with that is, is once we actually get into responsive mode, you'll notice that that button will not resize as I get smaller and smaller. So there you go. You, we've got a problem right there. You can see it overlaps on the side. The phone, half the button, well, not half the button, but some of the button is missing. So I'm going to show you a better way to do something like that. Now, for example, let's go back in here and target it one more time. And this time, I'm going to take away the, the actual pixel value, and I'm going to actually just delete all this, and I'm going to put in, I don't know, 40%. OK, and that will press enter. As you can see, we're about about right there. I'm going to click on save. Now watch it this time. As I bring that in, it will be 40% of the actual box that it's contained in, and it will get smaller and smaller. As you can see there, it gets smaller and smaller. So we don't ever have an issue with it actually compromising the button going over to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that back one of the other issues though is we might want it to be minimum size so one more time i'm going to target it and we're going to change something in here again and this time we're going to put in a minimum size so right now we've got a size it's set at 40 percent okay but i might want a minimum width of let's say i don't know uh, let's go 100 and let's go 200 pixels that works out perfect i'm going to click save one more time Okay, now when I bring this in this time, when we get to 200 pixels, as you can see, I'm going to bring it in and bring it in. It will only go so small. There you go. We've, we've hit the 200 pixel mark, so I've still got a nice little size there. So that's one of the other tricks you can do. Percentages are good for mobile responsiveness, and fixed or minimum sizes guarantees that it won't size less than what you want it to. So size is one of those funny properties that you really don't want to do too much with it because most of the sizes will be built into your theme already. And by you actually overriding the sizes, you're going to have some issues. The other thing that affects size is actually padding. And on this particular case, I'm betting that there's some padding inside that button. So if I click on padding, and there we go. We've got 20 pixels right and 20 pixels left. So if I actually reduce those down, OK, and there you go. We've actually made the button slightly smaller. OK, I've also got a bit of padding on the top and the bottom. So if I bring that down and bring that down, now I've got rid of all my padding. The only reason that that is staying at that particular size is because I set it at 40%. You can also set it on the height, which would also restrict that. But size is one of those CSS properties that you probably won't use too often because you can use padding and margin to create the same effect of size. But sometimes size does come in handy. Anyway, that's a quick lesson today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos, click on subscribe and please tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye now.